The handover ceremony was held at the headquarters of the National Women Organization. The aid included fully furnished offices, computers, office equipment and sewing machines. The Chinese ambassador to Somalia dressed in local attire was the guest of honor in an event that was also attended by top government officials. China will uphold values of friendship, justice and shared interests, strengthening friendly relations and cooperation between our two countries in the framework of the China-Africa Cooperation Forum that will deliver benefits for two peoples. For years, women in Somalia have played a critical role in peace building. Batola Gabale is the chairperson of the Somali National Women Organization, a strong advocate on women empowerment and representation in politics. She now sits comfortably in her renovated offices, ready to rally more women to take a leadership role in the society, and thanked Beijing for supporting the country's women who for years have been forced to bear the brunt of a two-decade civil war. Relations between our countries date back to many years ago. We thank the Chinese government for this generous donation that includes office equipment, computers, sewing machines and air conditioners. Somali women are grateful for this donation. It's a clear sign of the long-lasting friendship between our two countries. Through the latest donation, the center will now train women on life skills as well as empower them to take a critical role in rebuilding the nation. In recent years, China has donated millions of dollars that has assisted Somalia avert its worst humanitarian crisis in decades, with the latest aid reaching the vulnerable in the society, among them internally displaced persons as well as refugee returnees from neighboring camps in Kenya. Beijing's latest aid to Somalia was worth $6 million and will be used to better the lives of displaced persons all across the country. The Chinese embassy in Mogadishu has also provided scholarship to hundreds of Somali students. Most Somali students travel there to study engineering and medicine, among other courses, hoping one day to return back to the country to play an important role in rebuilding their nation. And as these women celebrate, it's clear that the future looks bright for these two friendly countries. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.